sodium and potassium reacted with oxygen with all their might. But the reactivity goes on decreasing as we move down the reactivity series. So calcium and magnesium are a pair. Aluminium and zinc form another pair. So reactivity differs in the space of two. Let's see what happens to magnesium. When magnesium reacts with oxygen, it does not react at room temperature. In fact, you have to light magnesium. Now tell me, what do you require to burn magnesium? If your answer was matchsticks, you need to learn science. You need oxygen, my dear friend, not matchsticks. You need oxygen to burn a magnesium. So what is inside the flame? It is nothing but oxygen. So magnesium reacts with oxygen to form magnesium oxide. Mg will require a little bit of heating to form oxygen. Inside the flame would be oxygen, so it reacts with Mg, it forms MgO. So why? Why not Mg2O or MgO2? Because Mg valency is 2, O valency is 2, cut, cut, crisscross, MgO. Very good. The reactivity decreases, so you have to heat magnesium. And only when you heat it, it will form MgO. Now, my question would be, what will happen? Have you seen this reaction before? Magnesium plus oxygen. You have seen it. You must have played with those firecrackers, those sursuris, the full jadis we call it, in Diwali. Those are nothing but magnesium. And the white color ash that they form after burning is nothing but magnesium oxide. So they give out intense light Hence, magnesium is used in firecrackers. So after magnesium and calcium comes zinc and iron. So zinc, even on heating, will not react with oxygen. You need to heat it strongly. Magnesium is 1. Magnesium is 1. So you multiply by nothing. Oxygen is 2. Oxygen is 1. So you multiplied MgO by 2, making Mg 2. So you multiply 2 on the left hand side. Like I said, zinc will burn in air only on strong heating to form zinc oxide. So Zn when reacts with O2 requires much more heat and a larger amount of heat and reacts with O2 to give me again ZnO. Why? Because zinc valency is 2, O valency is 2, crisscross ZnO. When you heat it, it will form as zinc oxide. If you see the balancing, it is going to be same like MgO. Zn is 1, Zn is 1. O is 2, O is 1. So you multiply ZnO by 2. When you do that, zinc becomes 2. So you multiply 1 zinc by 2. The reaction becomes balanced. 